Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make that uh, wrap slash poncho slash top. You can wear it many, many ways that you've seen in the in the photo there. So it's actually really easy to make. Um, mine measures approximately 66 inches long and about 18 inches wide from top to bottom. It's just a two row repeat and it's easy to do like i said there's many ways you can wear it you can wear it like the poncho poncho style which uh one of my pictures showed there it's just kind of like a rectangle wrap right and then you can put it on and you can put pin it up here or sew it permanently um i'll leave like a neck opening here and then that you can sew it, some people sew it all the way down so it's completely shut. You could show it, sew it a couple inches down, you know, and leave a little bit of room there for the arm opening. Or you can just pin it up and that way you can wear it as open, you can open it back up and wear it as a shawl if you want. But, you know, whatever you want to do. So it's, like I said, it's really easy. So let's go ahead and get started on this. I'll show you the yarn that I used. Okay, for this project, I used Premier, uh, basic it's a medium weight 100% acrylic yarn there are 359 yards per ball and it took a total of two complete balls for this shawl so I will give you the multiple so if you want to make it bigger you know you're going to need more yarn more smaller you can also add tassels I thought about that but I didn't but anyways so two balls at uh, 359 yards so we'll just say about 700 yards of a medium weight number four. Um, I did have a little bit left. Um, but you don't have to use a medium weight four. You don't have to use this yarn. Any medium weight four will work. You can use a five weight. You can use a three weight. You can use a two weight. Um, all you got to do is adjust the length of your chain for as long as you want it to be. So it's very versatile and you can make it any way that you want. And the color I use is called Light Mauve. Okay, and then I'm going to be using a size J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. Now that is for the four weight. If you want to use a three weight, I recommend a um, five and a half millimeter. And if you want to use a two weight, um, I think to get a nice drape on it, I would probably use a 4.75 or a five millimeter on that i know that seems big but it'll give you a nice drape if you're using a two weight and of course if you, if you want to use something bigger like a bulky five which is totally um acceptable it will work just fine i would use a six and a half millimeter for that but me for me i used a j now that uh pin that you saw in the picture is butterfly a subscriber sent this to me i have no idea where it came from but it is beautiful um i'm not certain though where where it came from but you don't have to use that that's just optional too so let's go ahead and do this okay so this stitch is done in a multiple of three plus two which means that if you want to make yours bigger or smaller your beginning chain needs to be an even multiple of three and then you add two more to your base chain and that's going to be the length of your project so if you're following along with me you want to do it my size I did a chain of 161 stitches so once you get your chain of 161 we are going to do one single crochet in the second stitch from the hook so remember we never count the one that's on our hook so one two single crochet into that second stitch and now we're going to start the repeat of row one. We are going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to skip two, skip, skip, and single crochet into the next. And that's what we're going to repeat until we get to the end of the row. Again, chain three. One, two, three. Skip two, skip, skip and single into the next chain three one two three skip two skip skip and single into the next and repeat this pattern you get these little loops until you get to the end of row one 
Okay, when you come to the end of row one, you should be able to do a complete repeat. So I just did a single crochet. I'm going to chain three again, and my last stitch will be, I'll skip two, skip, skip, and single crochet in my last stitch. Now, following along with me, you should have 53 of these chain spaces here. Okay, now we're going to start row two. So row two and three are the repeat rows of the pattern. So it's very, very easy repeat row. So row three, or I'm sorry, row two, we are going to chain three, one, two, three. Now that's going to count as a double crochet and we're going to turn our work. And now we're going to put one double crochet into the same stitch. So right here, this very first single crochet here from the previous row, we're going to put a double crochet into it like that. And now we're going to start the repeat of row two. So we're going to put one single crochet into the next chain three space. So go right into it and work a single crochet like that. And then we're going to put three double crochets into the next single crochet. So here's the single crochet. We're going to go into the single and work three double crochets. So there's one. two and three just like that now we're going to repeat that again we are going to put one single crochet um, through the next chain three space so just go right through it and single crochet and then we're going to put three double crochets right here into the next single crochet one two and three. Again, repeat one single crochet into the next chain three space. So right through the space. And three double crochets into the next single crochet. Now we're going to repeat this pattern until we get to the end of the row. Like that. So that's what it's kind of looking like. All right, I'm coming to the end of row two. I just did a single crochet right here in my last chain three space. And what I'm going to do is end by putting two double crochets into my last stitch. So at the end of row two, you should have, you should have 52 of these three double crochet shells. I guess we'll call them shells. So 52 of those. We don't count the two double crochets that we put on each end. Just the shells that have three double crochets in them, you should have a total of 52. Okay, now we're going to start row three. Row three is pretty similar to row one. We're going to chain one and turn our work. And we are going to put a single crochet right here back into that very, very first stitch. And now we will start the repeat of row three by chaining three. One, two, three three now we're going to skip three stitches one two three and single crochet into the next so it'll actually be the center stitch of this group of three double crochets is what you're going to single crochet in and that's the repeat chain three one two three skip three so you skip the double crochet here the single crochet here the double crochet here and in the next one which is the middle of this group of three single crochet again chain three skip three or you can just jump right over here to the middle of this group of three double crochets right in the middle one and single crochet chain three go over here to this group of three in the middle one single crochet and we're going to repeat that pattern until we get to the end of row three okay i'm coming to the end of row three i have four stitches that remain if you look we want to skip three and single crochet into the last which is that chain three go right in the top of it and again you should have 53 of these chain three spaces again so that's it we're just going to keep repeating rows two and three so for row four we'll repeat row what we did on row two by chaining three, 
turn in our work, putting one double right back into that very first stitch, single crocheting into the chain three space, and working three double crochets into the next single crochets. So our three double crochet shell stitches will always line up on top of each other. Single crochet into the next chain three space and three doubles into the next. Now you want to repeat this until you reach around 18 inches or so. If you're following along with me, of course you can do it however long that you desire. Um, I did a total of 34 rows. I ended in a shell row there. So it was had a nice uh, scalloped edge. And then, like I said in the beginning, you can wear this wrap as a rectangle wrap as is. Or um, you can fold it in half. If you want it to be something more permanent, some people like to make these like a permanent top or a permanent poncho style top. I would recommend... Um, I won't make it permanent because it's it's nice to have the option of it being a wrap or a top. But if you do want to make it permanent, um, like I said, you can try it on and leave an acceptable arm, uh, acceptable neck hole for your you know however you it fits however you want it to fit you, and so all the way down, you know, just you can just, uh, slip stitch it together or use a yarn needle and sew it all the way down. Make sure your shells are faced at the bottom though. And or um, you could put just a inch or so, two inches maybe of stitching, and that leaves it sewed together. But yet this will flap open, so you have your arms can hang out of it. That's another option, like I mentioned in the beginning. Or you can use some type of little uh, non-permanent tie here, or a pin or something, so you can undo it um, if you don't want to wear it like that and wear it as a wrap. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Super easy, super fun, quick, great beginner project, you know, so great gift too. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed, like I said, my tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Check me out on Instagram. Check out my hundreds of tutorials. Lots of yarn content. I like to talk about yarn. But until next time, have a good day everybody. Bye-bye.